Good morning and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. Now, recently I had a subscriber ask me if I could do a tutorial on how to download and install the Idaho map for their Farming Simulator 2013 game. First of all, what you need to do is download the mod. So I'm going to use a web page called ModHub US. Once you've opened up ModHub.us, you're going to go to the search field up here, type in Idaho, search, and it's going to bring that up for you. Now if you notice there's three folders here, three mods. One of them is a mod for the Idaho version 1.1 Timber Edition. Now if you download this mod, you can actually play as a logger in the logging industry. And as you may or may not know, in the new version of Farmer Simulator 2015, logging is going to be part of that game. So you can get a flavor of it from this mod. The one we're looking at today is the Idaho USA map. Now there are two versions, there's the version 1 and version 1.1. You're probably going to want the latest version, so this is one you need. Now, before I download anything off any of these web pages, I usually look at the uh, mod first. So I'm going to click on Idaho up here. It's going to bring up a picture of the map. It's going to tell you a de uh, full description of the map. It's going to give you any change logs of things that have changed since the last version. And down at the bottom here, you're going to find uh, the download area. So you can safely click on that and download that program. Now, you can either open the program or you can save it. I'll usually save mine and I make sure that I save it to my desktop that way I don't have to go searching through files and folders and temporary issues to to find this mod it'll be right there on my desktop when I've downloaded it once you've downloaded your mods you can see them on your desktop and we can go ahead and install them into the game now before we can do that there's a couple things you need to know you're going to need a program to uncompress these. Files that you download from the internet are sometimes quite large and so they compress them into it. They call a zip file. And there's several programs that you can download from the internet for free that will allow you to unzip these. There's WinRAR, WinZip, uh, 7-Zip. I prefer 7-Zip. That's what I use. I just like the way it works. It's simple. It's pretty automatic. So you'll need to go and get a program that you can unzip these with and once you do that then you can easily unzip them and install them into your game. So the second thing you need to know is that they don't all install the same. And let me give you an example of that. That's why I have two mods down on my desktop, downloaded to my desktop. Now the first one is this Caterpillar 725A. This is a single piece of equipment. The Idaho map is a little bit different because it takes several programs to make it function properly. This one, everything's in contained into this one folder. So to install the CAT 725A, all you have to do is open up your document file, go to My Games, go to Farming Simulator 2013, look for your mods folder. Once you've opened that up, you can see that these are all the mods that I have installed in my game. And to show you what I mean about these, let me open up the CAT 725A. And you just double click on it once you have the 7-zip in installed. And it'll open it up. And this is everything that's in that folder. Now if you notice, there's a lot of program or a lot of files in here, but none of them are a zip file. So everything that you need to install this mod is already in this one folder right here. So to install this mod into your game it's as simple as grabbing it from your desktop and dragging it over and dumping it in your mods folder. And There it is. Close your folder up, start your game, and that piece of equipment is in your game. Now the Idaho map is a little bit different and the reasons why it's a little bit different is if you open it up you'll notice that there's four folders in it. They're all zip files which means they're all individual programs so you have the Idaho map mod and then there's a couple other programs in here that will make your map function properly so we can close this out 
and what we're going to need to do is to install this is to again open up your document file go to my games farming simulator 2013 get your mods folder open and this one is also simple to install it's just a little bit different than the last one so what you need to do now is to open this up by double clicking on it highlighting all four of these programs grabbing them and dragging them into your mods folder and once you've uh, dropped those into that mod folder again you're finished you can close this up close this up start your game and the Idaho map should be there now a lot of times I will hold on to this original download for a couple of days just to make sure everything's working right kind of saves me from having to re-download the program uh, but once you've done that you really don't need it because everything in there has already been transferred into your mod folder so you can go ahead and recycle it if you want to and that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions or comments feel free to let me know if you like this uh, tutorial give me a like if you really liked it subscribe in the meantime I wish you all a good day